What's going on my peeps, your boy Versatile is back with another video back quickly to show you guys here how you can force 90 hertz smooth display on your Pixel 4 and 4XL. It's quite easy, I've already had it uh, enabled so far. And while I'm in here, I'm gonna show you guys a couple other things you can do to both speed up your Pixel 4 and 4XL as well as force dark mode just in case you just wanna have one specific setting uh, enable and that's all in the same place. So if we go here Let me go ahead and get into the device here real quick. I've been having so much fun with this device guys It has been a marvelous Marvelous time within the 24 hours. But that's another video So if we come in here, I already have dark mode enabled. So that's what you guys are gonna see here So you guys see here and one of the things I do like is it lets you know what Bluetooth device is enabled right here in settings already as you guys can see, I got my Galaxy Watch. But it lets you know all your Bluetooth devices right here. And then right here, if you hit the drop down, let you know what is, is activated. And right now I have Do Not Disturb activated. And I would have had my night mode uh, activated, but I turned it off for the sake of this video. So now, how do you force 90 hertz on your Pixel 4 and 4XL? Well, first, you're gonna come down here to About Phone. Then you're gonna go down here to Build Number. And you tap on build number until you get a message that says you have now enabled developer options. In this case, I already have it enabled. So I'm gonna back out, go to system, advanced, and then we're gonna go into developer options. Now from here, you're gonna scroll until you get to, let's see here. You're just gonna scroll until you see force 90 Hertz. So as you guys can see right here, it says force 90 Hertz refresh rate. Now I have that on. Now, it does let you know in here, by enabling it, you get a higher refresh rate improved, but it's also gonna drain your battery. Now for me, I'm sure it probably did drain my battery, but my first 24 hours of use on this thing, I got six hours screen on time easily, like six hours, 15 minutes or so, off of like 18 hours. So I guess, uh, I mean, I did a lot. I had hotspot on and I uh, was finishing setting up my phone today with my Galaxy Watch and then just Twitter, Instagram, you know, Android Authority, Android Central, a little bit of internet browsing, you know, ch updating apps, you know, all the messaging. Like, it was pretty active. Watch some YouTube. It was a pretty active device. So once you have Force 90 Hertz display activated, you're going to see 90 Hertz much, much more throughout the use of the phone. And that includes web browsing, apps, video, everything is going to force it much more, much more often, if not all the time. That way you can truly take advantage of that 90 hertz on here. Now, if we go back into developer options, oh, not, mo not motion sense. If you go back into developer options, you want to speed up the phone. Well, if you scroll down, you're just going to scroll down. You see force 90 hertz right there. But we're going to scroll past that and we're going to scroll down here till we see window trans uh, window animation scale transition animation scale and animator duration scale so you guys can probably see that right there and as you see i have mine on 0.5x or half time speed it was at one and you want to actually put it to 0.5x and if you do that all your animations everything on the phone is going to move that much faster and smoother and paired with the 90 hertz your phone is going to feel that much faster in your hand you're going to notice the smooth display a whole lot more so by enabling that things go by a lot faster on here and as you kind of have kind of seen throughout me using the phone throughout this video you see it's relatively faster now i did want to say i wanted to show you another mode on here that you can use right here override force dark so as you guys can see there it says overrides the force dark feature to be always on so if you want to just come in and hit that, it's going to force dark on it, on everything, basically. The, the, the dark feature is going to be on. So if you do that, you don't have to worry about coming in here. At least I don't think so. You don't have to worry about in here and coming in here and turning on dark theme. But for me, I have it on because why not? And I don't have to worry about force dark because it's not an issue. And of course, when you force dark, you get Gmail's dark and you get Instagram that's dark. Wow, everything's nice and dark. And of course, Twitter now has blackout or lights out on Android. So boom, everything is done. You got force 90 Hertz, you got a faster display and the majority of your apps can be in dark mode now. 
So I thought I'd come to you guys real quick with this video. Hope you guys appreciate it and enjoyed it. I'm about to come hit you with the first impressions here soon of the Pixel 4 XL. I can let you know right now, I've been having a blast. But that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys appreciate it and enjoyed it. Leave comments down below about if you guys are able to get to this comfortably and if you guys are able to activate it and have fun with it. I wish the OnePlus 7 Pro had this, at least the T-Mobile variant. I don't know or I don't think any of the OnePlus 7 or 7T series phones actually have the Force 90 Hertz uh, option, which is kind of interesting. But if it does, let me know down in the comments below as well. But your boy Verso is signing out, and until the next video, panda, 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 panda. Wait for.